Now to celebrate just one of the army of volunteers and fundraisers out there who dedicate so much time to changing the lives of people in their communities. Yes, and this week our one big thank you is all about Paul Finch from Suffolk. Now before we see him get the surprise of his life from his favourite rugby team, the Saracens, let's find out why he is so special. Paul deserves this one big thank you because he's such an inspirational guy. In 2014, rugby fan Paul Finch from Suffolk was diagnosed with stage four bowel cancer. Cancer diagnosis such as Paul had is the worst thing you can ever imagine. In his usual fashion, Paul decided he was a person that was going to continue and, and live his life, whether he was a cancer patient or not. Whilst undergoing treatment, Paul organized a curry night to thank his friends for their support and he wore his favorite red trousers. And my brother turned around to him and said, what are you wearing those for? And uh, to which, you know, we all had a bit of a laugh and a bit of a joke. And then before we know it, that turned it into an annual event. It was that curry night that Paul decided to create the Red Trouser Day charity to support others going through a cancer diagnosis. Now everyone involved shows their support by wearing red trousers at every opportunity. It really shows that we're all working together and we formed a, a really good community. Paul and his team of red trousered supporters raise money for bowel cancer charities and the Royal Marsden Hospital where he's being treated. In the last 10 years, my dad has raised 250k, running a number of events from golf days, rambles, now a number of people coming along to contribute and run their own events, uh, which all started in North London with a few poppadoms and a curry. Everything he does is for other people. He doesn't put himself first. He's so, so positive about his journey and sharing that to help others. And I find that hugely inspirational. Oh, what a man. Uh, well, when we heard Paul's story, we thought we'd try. Oh, I can't do a rugby gag, if I'm honest. Sorry. Oh, uh, well, look, we'd try our best to give him a night he'd never forget. <laughs> Paul's a huge rugby fan, so we've called up two players from the team he loves best, Saracens rugby stars Alex Good and Andy Christie. And when better for our dream squad to come out to play than the 10th anniversary of when Red Trouser Day was born. We heard Paul was a Saracens fan and about all the work he's been doing to raise money for cancer charities, so we at Saracens wanted to get involved. We knew we had to make it a special day that he could never forget. Paul's arranged a curry with all his friends and family at the very restaurant where it all began. He has no idea Alex and Andy are going to be popping in for a takeaway. So the rest of our team are training not too far from here and there are some hungry boys, so we need to order some food for them. Paul's arriving early, so before he does, our crew have snuck in to rig some hidden cameras and hired actor Sumit to play our waiter for the evening. He's going to act busy and ask Paul to man the phones. And our Saracens boys are going to call to place an order. But we might have a few tricks up our sleeves. Or should I say trousers? Right on cue, Paul and other red trousered helpers arrive and our actor turned waiter gets the ball rolling with the first part of our plan. I've quickly got to uh, grab some ice cubes. If I can ask you to uh, pick up the phone in case if it rings, probably one, but in case if it rings. If, uh, you're a gent, thank you, I'd appreciate that. As Paul and his helpers start setting up for the evening, he gets his first call. He has no idea it's his favourite rugby stars with an order big enough for a whole rugby team. Who's your answer? <laughs> Hello, Katara. Hello, can I do a takeaway, please? Right, what would you like? Four um, King Tron masalas. Uh, we've got... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not a, a regular uh, order taker. Really? Oh. Okay. We've got three lamb tikas. We've got okay. one korma. I'm not sure who that's for. A lamb vindaloo, please. How many poppadoms? Well, eight, eight people. Whoever, what, what, what do you recommend? So I'll go two each then, so 16. 16, yeah. yeah. How long, please, sir? Uh, a good 40 minutes, I should think, mate. Perfect. See you in 40 then. Cheers. Bye-bye. That went pretty well. As Paul gets the special evening underway, this, this all started 10 years ago. Alex and Andy make their way to the restaurant. I said, well, what you need to do, Rog, is run a charity curry night. And with the meal in full swing, 
Paul is completely unaware that they've arrived. Hi, pick up uh, order. Our waiter introduces them to Paul. Uh, yeah, he's the general gentleman who took your order. Took your order. And when he sees our cameras, the penny finally drops. I'm not sure you got uh, your days as being a waiter. I'm not sure about that, though. Andy wants to know more about why they're all here. What's with all uh, the red trousers? Raising money for bowel cancer research. Oh, really? A lot of friends and supporters that uh, have come out tonight to uh, celebrate. And as part of the special celebration, it's time for Alex to reveal why he and Andy are really there. And it's not for a takeaway. I have to come clean. I've actually been sent by the one show to give you a one big thank you for everything you've done. I'm totally overwhelmed now. Before you sit down and have your meal, we've got one more surprise for you. If you come over here. Hiya, Paul. I hope that Andy and Alex were a welcome surprise to your special evening tonight. And well done for taking their massive food order. Ten years of fundraising and supporting others after all that he went through yourself is just incredible. We wanted to say thank you for all that you do. And here are some more people who think you're amazing. Post my surgery, volunteering for Red Trouser gave me motivation. Amazing. A million thanks. When you were diagnosed, and I didn't know then what I now know, that is that you would help us, your friends and family, get through your diagnosis. Just so proud to be your wife. In 2017, I found out I had bowel cancer. One of the first phone calls I made was to Paul. He told me about his story and introduced me to the community of people at Red Trouser Day. I am forever grateful to Paul. Paul, oh, just to say huge thanks from myself, the Royal Marsden Hospital and the Royal Marsden Cancer Charity for all your very generous support. Hi, Paul. What an incredible and amazing achievement. Well deserved. You are an inspiration to us all. Ten years ago, I was given the story that I might not make five, so to be here even is, uh, is, is just amazing. But to receive this is just... Uh, Totally blown me away out. Thank you. Thank you. You've inspired us. We appreciate it. No, no. Thank you very much. So we're red. <laughs> well. Thank you uh, to Alex and Andy from the Saracens for getting involved. And, guys, we've got some incredible news because earlier on this afternoon, literally today, Paul got the news he's been waiting for. He has got the all clear, which is Isn't absolutely brilliant? unbelievable. Well, thank you. If you know somebody extra special who deserves a surprise like no other, then do tell us all about them. One big thank you at bbc.co.uk.